37 mile lap is a very challenging uh, climate for a motorbike, actually for any vehicle under racing conditions. And it gives us actually the best platform for us to develop things in the hardest of conditions. Uh, one is the competitive reason, the fact that, uh, that we wanted to come and compete in the toughest racetrack in the world. And the other one is that we want to educate our engineers in the new technology of electric motor racing. We have the TT Zero electric motorbike racing on the island for the fourth year. Uh, the initial race was back in 2009. Every year since then the technology has improved and we're now expecting electric motorbikes to go around the, the famous TT circuit in speeds of averaging greater than 100 miles an hour. It's about raising the profile really of the technology. It's not to compete with the TT as it stands, it's really about promoting technology and the clean tech sector. And each year we, we have this race, it's about the advancements of that technology that we can uh, promote ar around the world. TT Zero is a great opportunity to showcase the clean tech sector, of which we've got over 100 clean tech businesses here. The Isle of Man government, I think, is a small government. It's very accessible. I know people say that, but in a small jurisdiction, you know them well. You see them in the street, you can go in their offices. So in terms of getting legislation passed, you can influence it right at the beginning. And the Isle of Man is a unique position. Uh, we are able to offer a great location to trial technology, TT Zero being a, a prime example of that with electric motorbikes get to go around the world famous track and, and push the technology to the maximum. This year we want to definitely have a good lap um, and get a lot of data home because this is very much a research bike so we want to understand a lot of the technology we're trying to develop and for that we want to have race data. Now, I'm in a fortunate position that I work for a company that manufactures drivetrains for electric vehicles therefore we had a number of options that we could look at within the products that we produce at Zytec. Electric vehicles in general, not just necessarily uh, motorcycles, it's a good place to try out a number of technologies like we're doing here. We have the uh, privilege of being the only Manx-built bike on the podium at the TT, so that's not bad. I think it's, it's going to have to happen, it's the future, isn't it? It's as simple as that. Um, we were looked at with amusement in year one, a um, little less in year two and now they're taking us pretty serious and so I think within the motorcycle world it's, it's now become a serious function, it's something now that people say yeah there are going to be racing electric motorcycles in, in the future and I suppose if you expand that out into the whole clean tech industry that's the way it's going to go and we have to.